Hey guys, so what's going on? This is Unwound Sega, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make your computer very quick. Now, what I'm meaning is, is probably where you first got your computer and you noticed it was just very quick, but once you started loaded up the hard drive with a bunch of stuff, it just started getting relatively slower. So, one first thing to do is this is pretty much a tutorial for down all the way to Windows XP, it's going to work. Okay. So, the first thing you want to do is go to your start and right click on my computer and then hit properties. Now, a little window like this should pop up. Now, you want to go and click on your advanced system settings. And then, once you have this up, make sure you're in the advanced tab. And then, where you see performance, click on settings. Now, this, if you hit adjust for best performance, um, this is going to really make your computer a lot quicker but it's definitely not going to um, look that good uh, I know what you're thinking right now it doesn't look that good but if you get used to it you'll love it because computers just run so quick with this because it doesn't have to do all the processing you know with the new Windows 7 stuff you click on something and it just like kinda blows up instead of just popping up like this stuff it just goes it just completely goes away with no effects so once you've done that, um, you may even notice a performance increase right now. Um, so once you've done that, um, you want to click on your start and then go to control panel. When you're in your control panel, you want to go to system and security. Now on here you should see administrative tools. What you want to do here is hit on free up disk space. Now what this little handy tool is going to do is it's going to find the things this computer just doesn't need anymore like system error, memory dump files, other etc, etc stuff that the computer makes but it just doesn't need and it starts filling up. And you may go through this, I've done this recently, and notice that like some of the things are like taking up 50 gigs maybe. Um, and that can really cause a performance loss on your PC. So mine's, actually I haven't done this in a while actually, um, it, it will take, um, this will take longer depending on how much um, crap, the, how, how much stuff is in this stuff. Now if you do have like 10 or 50 gigs of stuff here, it may take, you know, like 2 or 3 minutes, but that's it, I mean like, it's pretty quick. Alright, so, um, you just want to pretty much check all these. As you can see, I haven't uh, emptied my recycle bin lately. It's 32 gigs. So if there is something in your recycle bin you need to get back, go ahead and uncheck that. Go get your stuff out of that. Um, empty that. And then come back to this. And you'll see here there's stuff like Windows Update Cleanup. Uh, there's temporary files, thumbnails, all that stuff. You just don't need it. And down here it will say total amount of disk space you gain. So I'm going to gain 32 gigs of space. And again just select them all you're not gonna need any of this stuff so and then basically you just wanna hit OK um, I'm not gonna do that yet uh, but um, there's also another thing you see here that says defragment your hard drive now on this um, this basically consolidates fragmented files on your computer's hard drive to improve system performance now this does take a little bit longer actually it takes I prefer you to actually start this one, you know, when you're going to bed and you wake up, it's definitely going to be done. Um, done. But um, basically, what you want to do is click on the one you want to defragment, and you want to click um, defragment disk, and that's gonna um, uh, actually I recommend doing the analyze disk first because. This will actually improve performance too. If you just defragment it, um, it's not going to know where some of the fragmented files on your computer's hard drive is. So then it's going to like, you won't get the full performance out of it, but it will still be, um, it'll still take the exact amount of time if you do both of these. So, so yeah, um, I hope you found this video useful, and that's pretty much it. Um, you should notice a performance increase if you haven't restarted your computer um, that could be a problem too um, after you do this stuff and you notice it's still a little you know 
um, slow in ways, just go ahead and do a complete reboot and make sure to update your computer with all the latest updates and you should get your computer pretty blazing quick. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Be sure to drop a like um, and see you in the next video. Goodbye.